Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you display data on a web page using WebGrid in MVC. So here are the records now. We got only five per page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC project. Go to File, New, Project. I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The project name is MVC WebGrid. Okay. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC4. Okay. And here the project is successfully created. Let's close this page. Go to Solution Explorer. Now, in this project, I'm adding a ADO.NET data entity model. Right click the project name. Add. ADO.NET Entity Data Model. The model name I'm giving WebGrid Model. Okay. And from the model contents, I'm choosing the first option. Next. I'm creating a new connection. New connection. I'm adding my SQL Server name. After adding server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I have selected sample DB. Test connection. Okay. Okay. And I want to save the connection string, which is a sample DB entities in web.config file. Next. From the database objects, I am expanding the tables as well as a DBO I'm expanding. For this demo purpose, I'm choosing the employee table. I'm selecting that one. Finish. And here the employee table is added to the data model. Let's close the output message. Let's create a new controller. Open Solution Explorer. I'm minimizing the references folder. From the controllers folder, right click that one add controller I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty add the controller name is MVC webgrid which is a controller name add and here we got the controller MVC webgrid now in this action result I'm adding my connection string sample db entities sd is equals to new sample db entities in the written view sd dot the table name is employees dot to list method that's it the coding part in the action result index now we will create the view of this action result index before creating the index view page we we have to build the project. Build, build solution. And we got a message, build succeeded. Let's close this output message window. Highlight the index, right click the one. Add view. The view name index only and the template I'm choosing. The list and the model class the employee table add and here we got the index view page also and notice there is the action links create which I don't want for this example as well as the edit details and delete I'm deleting those links before adding the web grid helper control into this index view page Let's check the basic output, how it looks on the browser. 
but one important thing before run this application we have to change the controller name in the route config.cs file open that one and notice the controller name is the home which is the default one I'm deleting that one and our controller name is MVC webgrid copy that one I'm pasting here and the action view page is the index only this one let's check the output Google Chrome and here we got the output which is the default output to display the data on the browser now my aim is instead of displaying this default table I want to display this data into web grid control let's switch back to the MVC application I'm stop debugging now what I'll do is I'm deleting this default table I'm changing the index header name to display records in web grid horizontal line at web grid web grid I'm creating an object new web grid source which is model at I'm adding the web grid object dot get HTML table style I'm adding table between the double quotes comma HTML attributes new between double quotes at ID is equals to I'm adding the web grid object comma columns colon web grid object dot columns web grid dot column between double quotes the first column of the table which is ID I'm pasting here comma ID which is the header comma let's copy this one I have four columns in the table the second column is a name header is the name the third column is email and the fourth one salary I'm deleting this comma that's it we have binded the columns into this web grid let's check the output I'm rerunning the Google Chrome and see here we got the new output the data is displayed in the web grid control and notice the headers we can sort the values ascending and descending and as well as you can see the pagination also by default the web grid display 10 records per page now let's add the page size of the web grid in the web grid after source model comma rows per page colon I'm adding 5 now I have set the page size 
to display file records only. Let's rerun the browser. So here are the records now you got only five per page. That's it.